Hi, today we're going to create and add a basic conversion form to our website. Conversion forms are incredibly important for turning website visitors into leads and by using them with downloadable content such as ebooks you can both increase the amount of leads you generate and begin to follow up with email autoresponders. We report the overall conversion rate for your forms on the dashboard as well as a breakdown of your active forms within the conversion centre. So let's get started and add our first form. We'll need to give our conversion form a name and to specify the redirect address. Then this is usually a thank you page. Although today we'll just pop the home page in for speed. I'm just creating a basic contact page so I'm not adding any progressive profiling fields. I'll go into more depth with those another day. We're then taken to the form builder which has full name and email address as the basic set of required fields to create a contact. I'm going to add a basic text area for our leads to add a message and to change the name of our um, submit button as well. So if we just pop that message field in there, rename that. and then change the name of that submit button and then I'll save it for good measure. You can preview your form as well as add any CSS styles to uh, tweak the look and layout of your form. So there we can see what it looks like in the when it's rendered in the website and then in the styles tab here we can just pop CSS in to uh, change the look of that. It's important to remember to add an automation to your form so that when it's completed uh, something actually happens other than the contact being created. So the automation that I will add will be to send a notification although you can start campaigns, stop campaigns, um, add contact tags etc. Um, change stages for the contact as well in there. So if I add that automation, then I'll pop back to the form builder page where I can uh, generate my code to add to the website down here on the right. Now I'm going to take the short code because I'm uh, adding this to a WordPress website. So I'll just copy that onto my clipboard. So next I'll just flip back over to WordPress, head for my contact page and then it's, it's really just a case of pasting that text that's uh, been generated into the actual body of your article um, and then it actually works with the tracking code to render the correct form elements and that's useful when you get into progressive profiling and more complex forms because we can show the specific fields that are relevant to each contact so different people will actually see different forms when you get into um, progressive profiling etc. So that's what that will look like and then if we um, flip over again to the um, the actual website you can see that that's rendering the form that that has just been created. Right, what I'll do now is to uh, I'll complete the form on the website um, and show you what happens in JumpLead when uh, somebody actually completes a form. So I add my name, email address and uh, pop a message in and submit that. So that will have created the contact in JumpLead. Um, and also hook up any um, analytics information uh, that exists already. So back over into, into JumpLead, head for the activity section there. So there I am, you can see that it's uh, created me as a contact and tracked my activity and it's also um, 
pulled in um, a previous session as well there and um, and pushed that pushed that back. So if I click through to the um, profile page of uh, of the contact, you can see that um, there's there's a bunch of stuff there. Um, we've pulled in the um, social media um, accounts that relate to the contact. Um, the activity history has been um, pulled together. Um, in there and you can start adding notes and tasks and uh, and working with that contact if we go up to the uh, main conversion uh, page there you'll see the form exists and we're tracking the statistics for that form um, and then you can see uh, which ones are effective which ones aren't um, and work on improving those back to the dashboard in there and there we are so thanks for um, watching the video with me today, um, always a pleasure.